Hey YouTube! Well, I've had several people asking me to take another look at Zoomedica, so that's what I'm going to do in this video. I want to go over some of their recent news, and then we're going to go over their charts and see if we can extrapolate what move might be coming next. After that, I want to touch base on the overall market. Since this market's been so volatile, I want to give you as much insight as I can. And then after that, I also want to talk about the sector that is still outperforming and show you some more of those stocks. Okay, well, I'm going to jump right into this news article, and this article says that Zumedica looks like it's going to be the winner once its veterinary office lab testing product, Truforma, launches on March 30th. Zoom stock is already up 850% so far this year in anticipation of this product launch, and the company has taken advantage of this huge price spike. On February 8th, it raised another $185 million. In fact, as of February 26th, Zumedica had an astounding $200 177.5 million dollars in cash on its balance sheet. Now compare this to the balance sheet from a year ago at the end of 2019 when it had just $510,000 in cash. In fact, even as recently as September 30th, it had just $52 million in cash and the company has very smartly taken advantage of the run up in its price and issued shares close to the stock's peak. Now, Zumedica has indicated on February 26th that it now has 947 million shares outstanding, and that gives it a market capitalization of $1.77 billion. So the $277 million in cash represents $0.29.3 cents per share in liquidity, and it also represents 15.6% of the total market value of Zumedica. Now, Zumedica has been pitching Trueform as a tool that provides improved test accuracy in a shorter time, and quicker, more precise tests means that they can make treatment decisions faster than they traditionally could, and that's possible thanks to their bulk acoustic wave technology. The technology is a high-precision solution solution presently being used to deliver cleaner signals in communication materials, particularly in the next generation 5G enabled devices. Now at the launch, Truforma would support tests for adrenal and thyroid disorders in cats and dogs. However, Zumedica says it plans to expand the device's testing capabilities. And the company announced last September that it has started developing a gastrointestinal testing panel for Truforma. Simply put, more use cases increases the revenue opportunities for Zumedica's stock. Okay, well, here is the current daily chart of Zumedica, ticker symbol ZOM. It is down uh, roughly 5% at the moment, but it is off the lows of today. It's just above that 21-period exponential moving average, but just below the 8-period exponential moving average. And if we look at these moving averages, we can see that they are starting to compress together, and that tells you that a base is starting to be formed. Now, if you've been watching this stock or if you're in this stock, you're probably thinking this thing is the furthest thing away from a base at the moment but when you've been in a stock like this you can have these huge up moves and down moves that can um, be a little trying on your emotions and it kind of takes you away from the current price action so that's why i like to look at these moving averages to kind to kind of uh, smooth out what is going on but if we go intraday we can take a closer look at this recent consolidation um, let's go to the 15 minute chart back it out just a little bit and we can see that is making a decent looking rounding bottom is just start to, starting to come around the right side of that rounding bottom but this represents um, the uh, consolidation we had the nice false break on the 23rd and actually that was a pretty big false break but it got right back into the consolidation and it is starting to form the right side of this rounding bottom and in just a couple of weeks we got that true forma um, news coming out early I should say the release of that product so that should be a decent catalyst to give it a move up so it wouldn't surprise me one bit if this stock starts to form the right side of this rounded bottom pattern and get above $2.25 and start to move up. If it busts above $2.25 and starts to hold that eight period exponential moving average on the 15 minute chart, 
that would be your signal that it has a very good possibility of starting that next move up. And of course, with that true form of news um, right around the corner, that could be the catalyst that sends this stock to a new all-time high. So in my opinion, uh, the Zumetica stock is looking very constructive at the moment. And um, I think it has a pretty good shot of making a new high in the next couple of weeks. Um, let's go back to the daily chart real quick. Take another look at the long-term chart. Now, Zumetica is a picture-perfect stock that I like to look for the, of a low price stock that has a very good shot of going on a big run. What I like to see is a nice long accumulation base, and this just means the stock has been under accumulation. So when a catalyst comes in to the stock um, that brings buyers in, there's not enough supply out there, and then um, the stock has a pretty good shot at going on a big run. You know, if we go back in time just a little bit on this chart, because this move back here was a pretty good size move, but being that the stock has had such a monster move after that, or yeah, that is the move right here. Um, this would have been my typical buy signal. Um, I like to see a new high and then a pullback to this eight period exponential moving average with a green candle. And that's usually when you get your blast off. And this was a really big blast off. But uh, this move would have looked pretty big at the moment. But of course, if we zoom out to present day, we can see that that was actually a pretty tiny move. So um, that's what gives these, these uh, lower price stocks the chance to go on these huge runs. So this is exactly what you should be looking for. Um, in these lower price stocks, you want to see some accumulation starting to happen. And then once you get that nice pop up into a new high, wait for it to pull back to that eight period exponential moving average. And then you could be getting into one of these massive moving stocks. But uh, all right, let's get in to the uh, market charts. All right, well, let's see what we can figure out from this ridiculous thing we call the stock market. At least it's been so ridiculous the last couple of weeks. This is the QQQ, which is the ETF for the NASDAQ. We can see the NASDAQ had a break to a new low, but it is reversing as I'm doing this video. So if things keep going the way they are, this could be a fantastic reversal signal for the market. And we could get several more up days of... Um, price action as a result but this market has me jumping from one foot to the other so if it's doing the same thing to you you are not alone because i mean we just get a big up day and then a big down day then kind of an in-between day which means if you get a big up move the next day you should get follow through um, we had the big up day but then we had another immediate reversal and then another huge move down on big volume so another distribution day but right now we are getting a turnaround day so it's going to be very interesting to see how the market closes for the day. If it closes near the high, I would expect it to be higher, um, actually substantially higher the next day. But we will see because the market is being anything but reasonable. And if we go to the – actually, let me show you the trade that I made today. I made another um, – MACD divergent trade. I'd made it on the minute chart, and I don't typically like to use the minute chart. Actually, I did it on the the triple fund, the TQQQ. Usually, don't like to do it on the minute chart, uh, but the market moves moving so fast, so I went to the minute chart. So let's go to the minute chart. I'll show you that trade real quick. Put the MACD back on there. Let me adjust the chart just a hair so it's easier to see. But we can see that the TQQ made a lower low, and then the MACD made a higher low while the TQQ was making a lower low. So that results in the MACD moving average convergence divergence uh, positive divergence. So your buy signal would be above this um, this white line, which is the eight period exponential moving average. And I sold that stock when it made it up to this resistance area. So we can see that the stock is still higher. So according uh, to this chart right now, I probably sh still should be holding it, but I thought we would get uh, more resistance right at this level. But when once it came up to that level, it just blew right past it. 
Um, so I made a little bit of the money back that I was losing earlier on the day on this day trade. And I like to make these uh, type of trades when the market is uh, very volatile, especially when it's dropping um, really fast. I like to look for these moving average convergence divergences to try to make some of the money uh, back that I have lost on the downswing because I get caught in these downswings just like you guys. Um, there's really nothing I can do when I get caught in those downswings except look for opportunities to potentially make my money back. And the MACD, the Moving Average Convergence Divergence, on either the Qs or one of these uh, triple products is uh, these triple ETF products is what I like to do. But um, let's get to the let me get this, some of this stuff out of here and let's get over to the other ones. First off, I want to look, take a look at the Diamonds, which of course is the Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, and uh, this one is the strongest of the three. And this one at the moment is moving back above the eight period exponential moving average. We can see we had that false break uh, three days ago, had sell offs the next two days, but they weren't really deep sell offs. And today it is getting back above that eight period exponential moving average. So we are still in limbo as far as I'm concerned because the NASDAQ is really weak. But the Dow Jones is strong telling you is that there is rotation going on. Um, let's take a look at the spider. Spider, of course, is the S&P 500 ETF, and that one is back above the 50-period simple moving average. So that is a good sign. As far as I'm concerned, uh, the Spider is the one that is in the most indecision at the moment. Um, if we go intraday to the 15-minute chart, we can see this... Um, has been going sideways since right around the 23rd. So the uh, SPY is still looking for some direction. It is in the lower half of this consolidation. So that means it's still pretty weak. But if we can get some follow through through to the end of the day and then have another strong move up tomorrow, um, I think there's a very good possibility the market could finally be back into another uptrend. It all depends on the... I think there is some economic data coming out tomorrow. So if that turns out to be favorable, um, we could be back in business to the upside. Um, I guess we're in wait and see mode on those averages. But let me show you some other nice looking charts in the oil and gas sector. All right, well, time and time again in the last several days and several weeks, one of the sectors that continue to show up on my bullish scan is the energy sector and oil and gas in particular. I've talked about uh, WTI many times on the channel. Um, they are blasting off into new high ground at the moment. It's up over 16%. So WTI is having a fantastic day. Now, what you want to do is look for the right side of these rounded bottoms. You want to see them start to put pressure on these resistance areas areas and once they blast through it and pull back to the eight period exponential moving average that is one time when I really like to get into a stock and if it does hold that eight period exponential moving average you have a fantastic opportunity of an uptrend and that's exactly what's happening with WTI. Um, another one that I've talked about on the channel several times is QEP. QEP is having a good day as well. It's up over 10% at the moment and is blasting off into new high ground. I believe I talked about both of these stocks yesterday. Uh, yesterday, QEP looked like it was busting into new high ground, but it pulled back uh, by the end of the day and is now continuing that move higher. So QEP having a fantastic day. And I don't think... Um, We've seen the end of these oil and gas stocks. I think they should continue to be strong. There's going to be some some chop to them. You know, they're not just going to go straight up, but there's going to be some uh, some pullbacks that we are going to uh, have opportunities to get into these if we have uh, missed our chances. But I think these should continue to be strong at least into the summer. But another one in this sector I want to show you is um, REI. I've talked about this one on the channel before. Um, this one is also holding near the highs. It looks like it is ready to blast off into new high grounds. This is a $2.37 stock. You have plenty of nice volume coming in. Um, I think once this purple line catches up to the current price action, that could be the, the uh, catalyst that it needs to send it higher. So REI is definitely one worth uh, keeping on your watch list. Um, next one I want to show you is... Uh, KOS, I don't believe I've talked about this one on the channel, but this one is also in the oil and gas sector, and this one is starting to blast into new high grounds. It's a $3.52 stock at the moment. It is up 
0.8%. So KOS is showing a lot of strength. You're not even seeing a ton of volume come into KOS yet. I think uh, once volume really starts moving into this one, um, this one could really get cooking. But uh, KOS is definitely one that's worth watching. Um, another one is ENBL. ENBL is coming up the, the uh, right side of that rounding bottom and is just blasting through this resistance um, as uh, just, a, just a couple of weeks ago and is, uh, is holding that eight period exponential moving average. So there is a strong possibility this one is going to be headed higher in the near future. Um, next one I want to show you is VET. I'm not sure if I've talked about this one on the channel before, but Vermilion Energy um, is blasting up near a new high from back in June. So it's only, it's less than 10% away from that. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised if it blows through that pretty quickly, but it is up 7% uh, on the day as I'm making this video. So VET is another strong one in this sector. If you're looking for strength, in a market like this, um, it's pretty much in the energy and in the commodity space. You're starting to see some uh, in the aluminum sector. You're starting to see in some of the other commodity sectors, some of the precious metals and stuff. Um, gold is lagging, um, but silver looks like it's starting to get a little bit stronger. But uh, I think uh, gold is also going to turn around before too long. Um, the next one I want to get into is AITX. This is, actually was a question from Tony M. He has mentioned uh, this one a couple of times, and I don't think that I touched base on this one on the channel just yet. Um, I appreciate you having patience, Tony, and asking me again. Um, but AITX is having a pretty decent sized pullback all the way to the 50 period simple moving average. So if you're looking to get into this stock, uh, this is a pretty good buy area. Tony is telling me that this one is a diamond in the rough, and I need to look into it further, and I haven't done it just yet. I've been so busy. But I'm definitely going to look into this stock today, AITX, because it is a nice looking pattern and it, it is at a perfect buy zone. So uh, now's the time to look into it. So I am definitely going to take a, a closer look at AITX today. All right, guys, well, that's all I have for this video, so I'm going to end it right there. But if you have any questions about any of these stocks or if you have any other stocks you want me to take a look at, please leave them down there in the comment section. I will get to them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end, guys. And until next time, take care.